Hey everybody, welcome back to Seamurg. Let's keep playing with our dragons. Okay, so it's my turn. I've only got one guy left, but that means, you know, it's the nice thing about having a lot of people. I mean, Jen, she's made 20 points, but I've made a big workforce, which means I don't have to spend as much time recalling my guys. And since it's a dragon rider, he can go to any space. Now, I'm tempted to go on ahead and occupy this final space over here, because that means not only would I get three goods, but since it fills up, I would automatically pull back the majority of my workforce, and I wouldn't have to waste time doing it. So that'd be really, really awesome. But the downside is, I've only got room for one good, so I, I, I'd take three goods, but I'd have to throw two of them away. So here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to clear out some room. I'm going to hire, uh, and you know, it's a bit overkill spending a dragon rider to do a spearman's job, but I'm going to spend them over here because I've got enough to hire my last spearman. There we go. There we go. All right, so. And my hope is Jen will see that, oh, look, she can get three goods of her choice. And when she comes here, she'd get her guy back, but it would benefit me more because I'd get two guys back and she would get one. So anyway, that's my hope. And let's see, what did I just do? I just recruited a spearman and that's it. I'm not doing anything else. So now it's Jen's turn. Hello. And, you know, Jen's got the same problem. If she comes here, she only, she would have to throw two or one of the things away because she only has two empty spaces. So, I think Jen is going to upset my expectations. She's going to come over here. Because remember, you can have as many characters. You know, one player could have multiple workers here. Jen is going to hire another Spearman because she's got enough goods for it. One, two, and three. So Jen gets a Spearman. Arr! And I'm like, well, all right. So Jen didn't do it. So I'll do it myself. I will go on ahead and I will fill this last space. And boom, I, get, I can get wood, stone, or you know, any combination, three goods of wood or stone. And the important thing is, since I've just filled this up, I get all my guys back, and the timer continues. So what do I want? So, um, wood or stone? Let's see. Well, if I look what's coming in the future, I don't really have any particular reason um, for these wilderness tiles to need wood or stone, particularly. But if I get more stone, I could, you know, this, I need to give up stone to fill this objective space. And this objective space is worth five points. The best one is worth six points, but I have to give up two spears. So, uh, see, I think I'll take two stone and a wood. So, but the important thing is I got all my workers back um, for free. So I didn't have to spend a turn recalling them. So I can just keep on going without having to waste time recalling workers. So I'm very happy with that. And so that is all clear. And that was my turn. And so now it's Jen's turn. She's got one little spearman. And so now she's kind of regretting not having gone there. But I think Jen's going to go a different way. Let's see. Jen still has, you know, her two wilderness tiles. She can put another one out there and be the first to benefit from it. But I think Jen... Oh, shoot. What Gemma's thinking is, she's got one of everything, one of every single good. That means she could come over here and breed another dragon, which is going to require one of everything except for knowledge. And breeding another dragon means she'd have a second dragon here with three more special abilities she could use every anytime she wants, which is awesome. I mean, I've got a bunch of workers. She has fewer workers, but she has more special abilities from dragons. She, you know, she'll be laughing. But only a dragon rider can come here. And she has to recall her dragon riders. So, or her, her dragon rider. So in the meantime, does she just want to go on ahead and recall her two workers immediately? Does she want to put this guy out to work in a new wilderness? Hmm. Let's see. So she could do that. And that would let, oh, no. Yeah, now is not a good time for that. Well, she could do that. Yeah. Or she could do that. No. Ooh. Or... See, I'm, just, I'm, I'm actually looking at what her tiles are. She wants, because oh, she could put this tile out and do any of the actions with her spearman, but this tile, she could only do this dinky one for two points. This is her power tile. Her power tile says she wants to get lots of spearheads to turn them in for nine points. That's really good. Um, or she could sacrifice a, spear, uh, you know, a spearman plus a spear and get eight points, or she could sacrifice knowledge and get five. But to do any of these, she needs dragon riders, and she doesn't have dragon rider right now. So I think this she's going to wait till later, until she's got her Dragon Riders free. Although, you know, I mean, she could just recall this turn and then get her Dragon Rider out there next turn. Let's see, what else could this guy do? This guy could come over here and get one food or one point. Can come over here and get one spear. Or, now this is interesting. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think so. I think Jen is going to come over here to the scouting area. You can see this is kind of like the, here's the, the road out of the city. So you can come over here to scout. And now two things happen. First of all, you get your choice of one lumber or one stone. And now this is really kind of unfortunate. It's almost impossible to tell. I don't know if the camera's going to focus there. There is a white line separating to say it's one or the other. It's almost impossible to see. Um, there, you can kind of see that the background is kind of a yellowish, and then there's that white line on top. That's, um, it's, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous production. Love these laser-cut uh, plastic pieces. But that is, it's impossible to see that white line. I'm sure that wasn't intended. I'm sure this wasn't supposed to be a white background with a white line. Because you can see, like, the white line, where is it? Um, over here, it's got a nice little drop shadow, so you can very clearly see that white line. But on some of the spaces, the white line practically disappears, and that's unfortunate. So anyway, Jen's going to come over here. She gets one lumber or one stone, her choice. I think she'll take a stone. And so she's starting to fill up her reserves again. And now she also gets one wilderness tile, because she goes out and she scouts. She gets some resources, and she gets one wilderness. Now. The tile she takes, she can spend one spear, and she only has one spear, and she would just have to draw blind from this deck. Or alternatively, she could spend more and try to get some of these. This is the cheapest one, and then more, more expensive, more expensive, the most expensive. But if you get this one, the most expensive one, because it requires two knowledge and a spear, gets you three points in addition to the tile. This one, Jen could get, because she has one knowledge and one spear, she'd get two points, and she would have another journey tile she could go on, which could give her 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 10 points. So Jen could just keep focusing on going on epic journeys. And because remember, her dragon gives extra points for going on journeys if she refreshes her dragon. Uh, right, so she could get, no, she can't get this one because it requires two knowledge and Jen only has one, but she could get this one because Jen does have one knowledge. Although this, if she takes this, she won't get any bonus points. Now this tile, you give up points, and Jen's got a lot of points to give up, to boom, get four knives, four spears. That would combo very nicely because Jen needs three spears to get nine points. So if she just spends one knowledge to get this, and then she explores this, gives up two points to get four knives, she could then explore this and give up three of those knives to get nine points. So she'd be netting seven over two turns. That's a pretty good return. It should be netting seven and one extra knife. Yeah, so that is pretty tempting. But let's see, what about this one? This one, she gets two bonus points, and it's another journey. But now, every step of this journey requires meat and veg and knives. So it's going to be a pretty expensive for her to go through this journey. She'll have to spend time, she'll have to burn time, you know, getting more knives or whatnot, because she doesn't really have a lot of resources to do this. So she really shouldn't go on this journey until she's got a lot of resources saved up. Because if she just puts this journey out, and you know, and boom, she gets to take you know one step, hooray! But then she stalls because she's got to get some more stuff. She looks over at me, she can see, hey, I've got a bunch of stuff. Maybe I could scream ahead of her and finish her journey before she does. So that you know, so it's a, it's a it's a bit of a risk to take this one. Although again, she could hold on to it till later, and she can't afford this one, or she could draw a blind. You know, I think she really likes that. Jen is going to spend one knowledge. Right, so you already got her free resource for scouting, and now she spent one knowledge, and this is what she found when she was out scouting. And so Jen now has three wilderness tiles she could put into play. All right, and so that was Jen's turn, and um, right, so it's my turn again, and hey, I've got a bunch of workforce. I don't have to recall anybody. I should probably put some of these guys out into the field. And so I could start putting my power tile out. I've got so many workers now, I could afford to lose some, but to lose this guy, uh, to you know, give him a dragon rider, to sacrifice his dragon rider, I also have to sacrifice three weapons to get those ten points. I only have one. So I need to get some, I need to get some Kniffies first. Now, unfortunately, in City, I could come over here to the armor and just make one, and that's not very much. That's slow going. Oh, whoops. oh, by the way, I forgot. When Jen took this, all the other ones got cheaper, and a new one came out. Now this one, basically you can use a dragon rider to get lots of knowledge, which you could then use for other things. Like, for instance, this tile wants you to give up that knowledge to um, basically get to draw a dragon for free and get some points. So that's pretty cool. Um, I said, actually, I do have three knowledge. This would be pretty nice to do if I had one more knowledge so I could get a dragon for free instead of having to waste time in the dragon breeding pits. So I could come over here and scout as well, but I need one more knowledge. And I can't come here because Jen is blocking this space. I could come over here with a Dragon Rider to get one knowledge, but that's... 
I'd rather wait because, and also I can see Jen is going to have to recall her workers. So I should wait. I should wait. When she recalls, I can get some more knowledge. And then once I have the knowledge and I have this thing, then I could turn four knowledge in and get another dragon, which will give me more powers. So what am I going to do in the meantime while I'm waiting for Jen to recall? Well, uh, let's see, I could explore, but honestly, I, I'd probably give, I don't want to give Jen the benefit because uh, I could explore, but I won't really use it very much. What else could I do? I could, wait a minute, do I have enough? No, I don't. If I had some veg, I could breed my own dragon. I have two stone. Yeah, you know what? Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to send my dragon rider up here to the Dragon Lord Palace, whatever it's called. And what I get to do here is I get to draw three objective tiles and take one. And so I'm going to start to set up the in-game scenario of the game. So I look at these, and what I'm doing is I'm looking. I have this kind of, you know, rhinoceros dragon. Jen has this black wing dragon. And all of these tiles give you bonus points depending on what dragons you have. So, this tile and this tile are great for Jen because she has that dragon. Ah, this is the tile I want. This is my dragon. All right, so I'm going to take these, and now both of these tiles are good for Jen because she has this type of dragon. I'm going to take them, and I could, I only get one, so I have to return the other two. I can put them at the top of the pile, but I'm not. I'm putting them, I'm burying them at the bottom. So now it'll be tougher for Jen to find an objective tile that benefits her based on her dragon. So I've gotten an objective tile, and now I have to put it in one of these slots, and I have to pay resources. I'm going to pay two stone, which I have, to put it in this slot, and I got five points. I am on the board. I've made five points, and I'm going to use my dragon special power. Every time I score points, you know, one time I should say, I can get two bonus points. So I'm actually at seven. And here's the thing now. At the end of the game, which will happen either when we dismiss enough wilderness tiles or when enough objective tiles come out. It's one of those two ways the game could end. How many objective tiles? I don't remember. Uh, blah, 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 game end. Number of face of objective tiles equals four in a short or medium or five in a long. So, you know, and somebody, I mean, th these are a great way to get points. Somebody could just be focusing on getting these objective tiles out. Hopefully that they will give them points for their dragons and points along the way. So in a short or medium, if four of these are filled up, that triggers the end of the game. Alternatively, when eight or 11 of these get discarded. And Jen, I found this is the more likely way the game is gonna end, at least in our experience. But anyway, so the important thing is when the game does end, everybody will tally up their dragons. And whoever has the most dragon powers that are unused for these dragons scores 10 points. Second place, five points. Third place, in a two-player game, it doesn't matter, one point. And currently, I'm the only one who has a dragon. Now, now that I put this out though, Jen might breed some dragons. And when you breed, you get to draw from the top three and you pick one. And if Jen gets one of these other dragons, then we have a competition to see who can get these 10 points. But in the meantime, I've scored five. So that was my turn. And I remember I was doing all this just to wait for Jen to get out of the way so I could get some knowledge so that I can go and get scout and get that tile and, and use it to good effect. So that was my turn. And I used a bonus action as well. And now it's Jen's turn. She has to recall. She has no workers. And she might as well just recall all three of them. So she'll recall everybody. And that was her whole turn. Um, right. She didn't get any knowledge, so she can't get that bonus. She didn't get any spears, so she can't get that bonus. So her turn is very quick. Now, finally, it's time for me to go to school. I'm going to get me some book learning. And that's one, two, and... Is this right? Yes. I will use this power. Whenever I collect knowledge, I can get two bonuses. So I am completely full. My stockades are full of books and meat and spears and building materials. Okay. I am very smart. This is going to be a great tile for me in the future because you can see I need to give up six knowledge to get all these benefits. Right. Okay. So that was that. And that was my turn. That was my core action. I'm not doing, and I did a bonus action. Jen's turn. She can start all over again now, placing her workers. What does she want to do? Now, interestingly, if Jen's paying attention, she can see that I've got a ton of knowledge and she can see that this is the perfect tile for me. And so she might be thinking, maybe she should just go and scout and snag that before I do. Because then all of a sudden, I'll have all this knowledge on my hand and I will literally have nothing to do with it. Um, because, you know, none of these tiles... And wow, that could be devastating. So arguably, I should have gotten this tile before I um, got all the knowledge. 
Let's see here. Mm. Or, on the flip side, Jen, she has a way to get some knowledge herself. Or, no, what did Jen want to do? That's right, Jen wanted to breed a dragon. She wants to give herself more powers. That's what she's going to do. She has one dragon rider. She's going to come up here. And so she has to give up one of every good except for knowledge. So there's that and that and that and that and that. So she's giving up one of everything. And so she gets to draw, where is it? Draw three tiles, pick one, and charge that dragon up with three dragon abilities. So she is hoping, hoping, hoping to find either this golden dragon or this um, four-winged dragon. So let's see. Because then if she does, she'll take that advantage away from me. Fingers crossed. That is not the golden dragon she was looking for. That is a very pretty, very scary red dragon. And that is also, wow, three dragons and not the one she was looking for. Right? Yeah. So Jen's going to have to try and get some, read some more dragons to try and take that benefit away from me. But in the meantime, I mean, she does still get to take one of these. And which power does she want? Give up a spear to get a wilderness tile. Oh, get three spears. Give up food, which she doesn't have, to get spears. And she needs spears to convert those into points. This one is just get extra food. This one is give up knowledge to get tiles, give up spears to get tiles. This one is just get some food, give up food or lumber to get, ooh, give up. All right, so two meat and two lumber to get a dragon rider, which instead of three meat and two veg, give up a, um, you know, give up a, a dragon power to get four points. Wow. All right. So she's got to pick one of these. It would have been so easy if one of these would have came out, but now, which power does she want? She really needs to think about what she knows she has in the future. So this is her big thing. This is giving up knowledge to get points, giving up spears to get points. And this one makes it easier for her to get spears or get weapons. So I think she'll take this guy. All right, and these other two, she can put them back at the top or the bottom. She'll put them at the bottom, hoping to draw what she really needs later. Okay. So Jen now has a second dragon with three new powers that she can use at specific points. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. And now it's my turn, and she didn't go scouting. Oh, thank heavens. So I'm going to come in here. I, got, I get one wood. Oh, and unfortunately, I'm totally full, so I'm going to get one wood or one stone, whatever, uh, but I don't have enough room for it. But now, I, oh, I do, because I'm going to take this. I have to pay one of my many, many knowledge to get this. And hey, then I've got room for the stone. Okay, and so I just got that, and that was my turn. My, my dragon is completely exhausted. Now, this is another problem, too. Um, my dragon is exhausted. If I don't get him recharged, he's not going to be any good, because remember, it's not just having the dragon. It's having dragon charges, dragon special abilities, and currently has none. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to let this guy rest, and I can do that by giving up stone over here or lumber over here, or certain wilderness spaces will let me get him to rest as well so that he can get his charges back, so I've got my 10 points at the end of the game. So anyway, so I got that. Everything else gets cheaper. This is surprising. We've gone for quite a while without putting something out. I think Jen is now going to... Right, so Jen wants to use his power to get the three daggers that she will immediately give up to get nine points, but she needs to get two food or meat first, and she has nothing. She is completely bone dry. Wow. So what she could do is she should if she could it's not really great she can come over here just to get one food and then when she puts the tile out she'll get the other food that will let her get the dagger she needs so that she can actually use the dagger to get the nine points but she doesn't want to put this out until she's got ready with the dagger and with the knowledge also she can see i've got so much knowledge if she puts this out i'll probably jump in here immediately so right so maybe she doesn't want to do that let's see what else does she want to do she can also get an all, or, oh, she just gets one more stone or wood. She can get three daggers that way. So the only way in the city that you can get, I mean, since I haven't put any tiles out to take advantage of, and she hasn't, I mean, she could get three knowledge, or she has no knowledge to recharge her dragons. She could spend four stone to get five knowledge and two points. Oh, another thing too, whenever she does get three daggers, she can unlock this power as well and get a bonus dagger also. 
So, and also, I mean, her, she can use daggers to get extra explore tiles, so that's nice. So, I think maybe Jen should explore again, because she could scout some more. She could get another, oh, a journey tile. So that journey tile has gotten cheap now. But actually, no, Jen can't get any, because you need at least one knowledge or one knife. Jen has neither of those things, so Jen cannot go scouting. So what is she going to do? Is she just going to get the food? Oh, it's kind of crazy about that. She's just going to get the food. She's rebuilding herself. That was, a, that, was a, that was a bit of a gamble. If she had gotten a matching dragon, that totally would have been worth it. But you know, the dragon is still going to work because it's going to combo well with her other stuff. And it would be tough to get a bunch of knives. She really didn't have a way. So this guy was pretty good anyway. All right, so that was Jen's turn. Is she going to do any bonuses? Um, well, she could. But she, she just got food. And right, no, she doesn't, like when I get food, I can, but yeah, so she can't. So she's not doing bonuses. That was her turn. Now it's my turn. And I think it's time to put this out here because I'm going to put this out, get and spend my four. And then next turn, I'll be able to spend my two because Jen has no knowledge. So she can't take advantage of that. Although I have no workers. I actually have to spend a turn now. We're calling all my workers. I totally forgot about that. Oopsie doops. Do, 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 do. All right, so that was my turn. I just recalled all my workers. That's a big workforce. Jen's turn. Hmm, what is she going to do? Okay. She is going to... All right, I totally forgot what she did. All right, so she's got her food. She puts this out now. Oh, that's right. Oh, she puts this out and just starts collecting all her knives. And she, so she can get four knives from that and a bunch of knives from that as well. Yeah, okay. So Jen is going to explore. She's going to come over here. And so she gets meat or veg. It doesn't really matter to her at this point. She'll just take some meat. And then she will occupy this space to lose two points to get four knives. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And she'll use this dragon power to get a fifth knife. All right, so she has many knives, which she'll be using a bit later. All right, but she can still get some more off the dragon too. Because this thing, I mean, if she could activate this tile multiple times, then, you know, I mean, she could get, you know, 18, she could get, she should get 30 points out of this if she, could, if she can work it so that this thing gets activated multiple times. So that's an interesting choice for her. So that was that, and that was Jen's turn. And, um, Let's see. Now, if she wanted, she's got a bunch of knives. She could give up a knife with her other dragon to get another explore tile. So, ooh, a journey tile, which requires, which can get her a bunch of points. Um, 50, uh, what is it? Looks like uh, 13 points. Ooh, 21 points could be gotten off of this thing, but it needs a lot of food and some lumber to be able to make that trip. So, that's tough. Jen doesn't really have a good way to get food and lumber at this point. Um, right. So, does she have any other power she wants to do? She, um, right, she has the, so she has now the, the, t the two foods she needs to be able to get three more knives. But she'll wait on that a little bit because, I mean, she needs to use these knives first and then pump some more knives in. So that was Jen's turn. She's activated that. And, and the interesting thing is, Jen uh, she just realized she just put this out here. And if I, or, or no, b both these spaces would have to be filled. If I use this space, to recharge my dragon because he's tired and I want to recharge him, then Jen would still have to put another worker here. See, because now, right now, Jen, on her next turn, she's going to have to recall things, unfortunately, because all her workers are tied up. Right, but anyway, so it's my turn. And while I was originally planning on doing this, I think I am going to come over here on the space. I will give up two goods. I'll give up a wood and a stone, and that will let me recharge my dragon. Now, when you're recharging a dragon, I get two of them. I have to go from left to right, so I'll go, I'll go this space and this space have been refilled now. So I'm pretty happy about that. And now it's Jen's turn, and unfortunately, she is just going to have to recall all her stuff. All right, and so now it's my turn again. It's interesting, because I came here, this tile didn't disappear when Jen recalled. So now it's my turn, and I think I'm finally, I'm finally going to put this into play. All right, so there we go, and so I get, um, and again, you can see, it's almost impossible to see. You can see there's this white line. I can get one lumber or one stone. My choice. I'll take uh, lumber. That way I've got two lumber in case I ever want to fill that objective space right there. And I'm going to put my regular guy over here, and this says, hey, spend four, one, two, three, four, knowledge, which I just did, to get, um, a, uh, to get another dragon. 
So this guy is very, very happy again to get three points. One, two, three. And hey, look at this. I will go on ahead and just use this and get two bonus points. One, two. And now I get to draw four dragon tiles and keep one. However, this dragon will come in with no charges. When Jen actually bred one, it came in fully charged. This one, I'm going to draw four, keep one, but it'll have no charges. And now if I can, I want to get another one that matches over here so I can, let's see. And yep, that guy's on the tile. This guy, oh, this is probably my favorite looking dragon. Just look at that, the beautiful butterfly wings. And this one. So it's, and hey, it's the butterfly wing guy again. All right, so which of these two dragons am I going to do? Um, either one of them will help me win this tile. And the other one I'll put at the bottom of the deck so that Jen can't find it. This gets me some meat. This then I can spend the meat to get some daggers, or I could spend the meat to get another dragon rider. And remember, I still haven't even gotten to my main goal, which is sacrificing guys. So this is actually pretty cool. When I sacrifice a dragon rider, I could get him back pretty quick. So I'm going to take that guy, and I'm going to put these other ones. I'm going to put this one at the bottom of the deck, and I'll put these two at the top, making it harder for Jen to find a matching dragon for that objective. I believe that I believe you can do that. It's your discretion whether you want to put him on the top or the bottom. So this guy came in, but unfortunately he is uncharged. I don't have access to any of those powers, but I can I can get him rested and get him feeling better. All right. So that was that. That was my turn. And now Jen, she would love to come here and draw another dragon, but she has no knowledge. And I knew that. That's why it was the right time for me to bring this out when Jen was totally... And now, I could go, Jen could come over here. She could get some knowledge, but she knows full well. My next turn, I'm going to come over here and take this space. So she, she won't be able to get to that knowledge in time. So I think um, Jen can't really capitalize. But you know what? I can't capitalize on what she's doing either because she has all these knives and she can start getting this into play now. So is she going to do that? Um, yeah, what the heck? She will go on ahead and finally get this thing into play. And so it'll have to come up here because these other two are full. That will get her one food. And she has to occupy it. So she will go on ahead and do this, which says spend three knives. One, two, three. And um, ba -ba -ba -ba. spend three knives and get nine points. So that just put her from 18 to 27. All right. And... Now, she's still got another knife, and she's got a guy she could sacrifice so she could get eight more points if she's willing to sacrifice this knife and this guy. So that she will have gotten 17 points out of that card. But now, here's the tricky thing. Although it's interesting. Oh, Jen has created a, 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 a sticky wicket for me. Oh, and by the way, actually, I think I read this guy wrong. Uh, I think he gets to do his power when you sacrifice knives. No, no, no. I'm, I'm sure I did that, right? Let me look him up. He's number 61. Number 61. Exchange one weapon. Yeah, no, I, I did him right before. Okay. So, Jen's turn. Now, all the wilderness spaces are full. If either Jen or I want to put a new wilderness tile out, we can first spend a knife to immediately remove a tile from the board and then put a new one out. And so, and when we do that, we immediately get one of our workers back as well. So it's my turn. I've got a guy. I've got all the guys I need. I've got two knowledge. I can put my two knowledge here to get four knives, which is my original plan, or Jen just put this into play. I think I'm going to use it. I'm going to put one guy over. No, nope, well, but it has to be a dragon rider. Oh, Jen had to be a dragon rider too. That's okay. So she had to put a dragon rider there. I'm going to put one of my dragon riders here and give up one knowledge to get five points. And Jen totally forgot. She should not have given me that. So, and that creates an interesting problem for her. And am I doing anything else? All right. So that was my core action. And um, what did I just do? I got points. I can't get any bonus points. This guy has no powers. Um, I can get two food whenever I feel like it. So that was my turn. Now it's Jen's turn. She's got two guys here. Hmm. So now this is a tricky thing. Jen had hoped I would leave her alone because she could just lock one of her little guys over here. And then she could remove her dragon rider, and then this little guy means it would stay. And then she could put a dragon rider again and get nine more points by giving up three more knives. But she'd have to spend the time to get the knives, which she could totally do. But now that I'm in, things get tougher. Because, remember, as soon as one more space gets filled, that tile is immediately going to go away. It just instantly disappears. And... Um, 
So if Jen just puts this guy over here, she'll get two points. This tile will disappear, and Jen will for free recall two of her guys, and I'll recall one. So that is actually kind of nice. She won't have to spend time recalling her guys, but she will also be giving up her chance to sacrifice a guy and a knife to get eight points, which is really kind of a bummer. But the thing is, she could see that I might just go on ahead and fill this space up next turn, get the two points, and then I recall two of my guys. So I think Jen doesn't want to miss out on that. Well, the interesting thing is, now that Jen, or now that I have given, I only have one knowledge, neither of us can do this now. Jen could come over here, pick up some knowledge, and then next turn get this. And, you know, so she could convert knowledge into more knives. But this thing is going away, and that's why she wanted the knives. Although, you, the more knives, if you have two knives, you can lock in an objective over here and get six points. So, having knives is worth more. Oh, wow. Things just got crazy. So, what is Jen going to do? Is she just going to put a guy in, get two points, get her workers back, clear that out? That's pretty tempting, just to stay in the lead. And, you know, because Jen has fewer workers than me. I can go longer without having to waste time recalling. Any opportunity Jen has to get a recall is really something she should take advantage of. Let's see here. Well, Jen also, anytime she wants, she can get three knives off of this because she has two food stuff. So she can get more knives, which she could use later to lock in an objective. And she would draw three objectives and try to draw objectives that will work for her dragons. So that she can counteract my, you know, I, she didn't find any dragons to counteract my control of this tile, but she could just get her own tile. Drawing three, she would hope. But she also remembers that I put two of them back at the top, so she can kind of, but that was before she got this. So if she draws three tiles and gets either of these dragons, she'll be sitting on Golden Street because I don't have anything that matches her. So, you know, I mean, she's still in the lead. I've got more workers, but I think she has more options overall. I think she's just going to go on ahead and do this, get two points. And um, because, hey, this tile is full, everybody gets their workers back, which is particularly valuable for her. And this goes away, and the timer continues. Remember, uh, in a medium-length game, when 11 of these are discarded. So that was Jen's turn. She doesn't have any dragon bonuses that apply to that. It's my turn again. And um, now I can't finish what I started here because I don't have, I don't have the, the book smarts. Oh, right. It's either... Oh, wait, no, no. It's this one. It's this one. Oh, right. It's the getting the... Jen could have, instead of clearing this tile out, she could have gone and gotten the smarts, and then she knows she would have been able to get another dragon, a third dragon. Although, again, this dragon would come in with no special powers. Now, nah, nah, she'll just leave she'll just live with what she got. It was good to be able to recall stuff. So anyway, back to me. Neither of us can really take advantage of either of these other actions. Although, that's not entirely true. I could say, come here and give up two points to get four knowledge, that's pretty darn nice. But it is giving up two points, so I don't think I want to do that. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, what do I want to do? Or and the city beckons as well. I also have these things. I could start going and getting some work. Heck, I could start sacrificing guys now. Remember, I need knives. I haven't gotten the knives yet. That's right, so I do need to come here to sacrifice two points, one, two, to get the four knives I need to sacrifice my dragon. So, I just got four knives. One, two, three, four. So that was my turn. And, right, I don't have, I don't get any bonuses for doing that action. Okay, so that was my turn. And uh, now, if Jen puts her dragon rider here to score one point, to give up one point to refresh her dragon, then, I will end up recalling two guys, and she'll only recall one. So I don't think she wants to do that. She would like to get another refresh for her dragon, but it'll benefit me more because I'll recall more workers than her. So I think she's going to go on to her own next thing. She's really bummed that her power tile only gave her one use. She was really hoping for two, but my interference. She should have waited until all my... If she had waited until all my stuff was gone, but it's, this game is all about timing. It is a crazy, crazy game. And on the other hand... Jen has almost everything she needs to start doing this journey, but she should really start stocking up more food and a little bit more lumber to be able to blitz through this journey really quick so that I don't jump in on it and try to muscle her out. This would get her some more knowledge, which she could use over here. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's say Jen's going to explore over here, which gets her one food. 
that she explored in there, she will go on ahead and use one of her normal dudes, and that gets her three knowledge. And that means one, two, three, she now has enough knowledge to take advantage of this space if it sticks around. Okay, so it's my turn. I still don't have enough knowledge to come in here to take that from her. So I can see Jen is now going to get to draw another dragon. And if she draws a dragon and takes that, oh, that's scary too. So what am I going to do? All right, well, oh, one thing I could do, this is really interesting. So I don't, I mean, Jen just got all this knowledge. I know this is where she's going to go. I don't want her to go there. I have a solution. I'm going to spend one of my knives to destroy this, to raise this land. When all of the wilderness spaces are full, you can spend a knife to eliminate the tile, to eliminate a tile, which I just did, and then put a new one in its place. So I have just prevented Jen from doing the action she wanted to do, and now I'm going to put a new tile out, which, what the heck, it's time to do it, let's do it. Let's get this out, put the guy in, and hey, I have to spend three knives, which I happen to have, and I have to sacrifice one of my dragon riders, and I just got 10 points. So that put me from 15 to 25, just like that. Okay, and um, yeah, boom. See, now I need two knives, if I, and I only have one knife. I need two knives. All right, but anyway, but the important thing is, I took that tile away that Jen was hoping to use, so she just got all that knowledge for nothing. She'll find another use for it, but say la vie. And now it's Jen's turn. Shoot. Although, I see, what did I just give her? She needs two, if she had two knives, unfortunately she only has one. If she had two knives, she'd come here and she'd get five points. But, so that, all um, right, or, if she had two knives, she could sacrifice one of her guys and get seven points. So Jen only has one knife. That was perfect. Jen cannot take advantage of either of those things. But here's something a little bit scary. Jen will immediately give up two foodstuffs, she give up two veg, and use this power to get one, two, three knives. One, two, three, and then suddenly, now, Jen can go here with her Dragon Rider and give up two of the three she just picked up and get five points. One, two, three, four, five. And boom, just like that. Oh, and Jen still has two knives. She could sacrifice this guy and get another seven points. And I just, oh, out of the frying pan, into the fire. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. And now back to me. And I've just got one little guy here. The interesting thing is, I could just put him up here and get a point and two food. Because I want to get that food back so I can recruit my Dragon Rider again. I think I'll just do that so I can get one victory point, two food. And hey, you know what? Look at this. Um, this tile got cleared out. Jen only gets to recall one, but I get to recall two. And so this just went away and the timer continues and so on. And now it's Jen's turn. And you know what? I think I'm going to stop right there because hopefully you guys have a pretty good idea of the ebb and flow of Seamurg. And if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit the little eye up in the top right corner of the screen or follow the show notes in five, four, three, two, one.